Okay, today we are going to do the Loudoun Gravel Grinder. This is a 60 mile ride in Loudoun County on historic gravel roads. And there is a huge turnout and we're gonna give this thing a shot. Please use extra caution throughout the entire day. Much of the road conditions are fantastic. Some of them can be a little bit sketchy though, especially the ones going downhill. You can really get cooking going downhill. And here we go. So the weather's not great, calling for a 100% chance of rain today. It's just kind of misting right now. It's not terrible. I've got a rain jacket with me. I don't know whether to use it. And I've never done 60 miles on gravel before, so this is going to be an adventure. Yeah, we are definitely in horse country here. It's so pretty. Still more horse farms. Gorgeous. So we've gone about, uh, eh, call it five and a half miles. And there's more up and down than I expected. Just steep little rollers, one after the other after the other. And I'm hoping that it's not like that for the whole ride. It was Alan. Alan doesn't even notice hills. It's not fair. Here's Gary. Neither does Gary. Pretty much my view the whole way, being behind those guys. Just hoping I can stay on their wheel. And there's other people who are just cooking it. So, what am I going right now? 12 miles an hour. And, but it is so pretty. I just got to think about the scenery and not how my legs feel. There you go. What, what do we got? Chimichangas? Chimichangas, they're terrible. You definitely should not eat them. They're not all going to go in my pocket after. <laughs> Where are these chimichangas? Oh, right oh there yeah. we go. Chimmy, Veggie changa. and chicken. And we also got sliders. Ham and turkey. Who wants a slider? It's early for that. It's early. gone about 17 miles now still pretty country mostly gravel roads lots and lots of horse farms and horse fences if there's a problem it's these legs I'm not feeling the greatest and we're only a quarter of a mile there a quarter of a way there I'm hoping it's not anything other than just aggravating. We bit of uphill here. I'm a little bit concerned. Not overly. The thought of switching off and doing the 40 instead of the 60 has occurred to me, but I'm not there yet. So let's just see how it goes. Don't burn all my matches too soon. All right, I just did a uh, you can edge right at the 20 mile mark. We're at a rest stop. Hopefully that'll make those guys feel a little better. big variety of bikes it's so cool just to see the different ways people are trying to solve the gravel question uh it's a breadwinner it's a small builder in oregon uh, it's actually a deceptively modern bike um it's only a couple years old it's italian steel tubing big tires one by drivetrain old school handlebars fenders i got the lighting system the, yeah, the color is off. Is the color of an old Land Rover? Oh, okay. And apparently, Land Rover doesn't use common color codes, 
So I was emailing with the guy about it. I was like, oh, this is going to be a nightmare to find the color. It's Maasai red. But the uh, painter he uses paints all the Land Rovers too. Wow. So took one email exchange. And how do you like riding this bike? It's, it's fun. It's comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as heavy as it looks. It's not? No. It does look heavy. Yeah, it's, it's not. Tires are big, but they make cruising the roads out here a lot of fun. Nice. So. And how are you enjoying the course today? It's good. It's good. Yeah. What's yeah. about what's your favorite part? Uh, I like the water crossing. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, oh, definitely. We got a 26 inch hardtail mountain bike. Flex down. 1991. What is it? It's a Richie. Okay. Yeah. Why did you choose that bike to ride here? Um, it's my mountain bike. My mountain bike, I've had it ever since 1991, and uh, now it's converted into a gravel bike because can't ride, no suspension <laughs> right. on the uh, trails anymore. And, and how do you do keeping up with guys on like more conventional, modern gravel bikes? Oh, I do. I think I do pretty well. It's good. I think I do pretty well. Check in, Gary. What do you think? How you feeling? Good. Like the horses? Horses are fantastic. Have you seen any? Uh, I've seen some horses. 30 mile check in. We're halfway. Beautiful scenery continues. So pretty up here, so historic. We're on a little section of regular road here, but we've been 90% on gravel. Okay, so in the wrong gear, but I can tell you that my legs feel much better now at 32 miles than they did at 22. Feeling much better. And not so far off the back anymore. And just trying to enjoy the scenery now. My legs don't hurt all the time. So stinking pretty. Okay, everybody was talking about this. There is a creek crossing up here. And the question is, do you ride it or do you walk it? Oh, this is it. This is it. Time to cross the creek, Alan. Go into the water. What is the plan, Barbara? What's the plan? Last year I went down, so I think I'm going to walk this year. Last year you didn't make it? I went like belly up. Okay, everybody's walking. Okay, for the record, I walked it. Just didn't want to risk it. 40 mile check-in, feeling pretty good. Time to do goo number two. Okay, we're coming up on 50 miles. I'm at 49.05. So almost 50. Feeling okay? Alan, what's the best part about this ride? The company. The company. There you go. Well, if somebody was to ride it without us fantastic people, what would you say? Scenery. Yeah, it's really gorgeous, isn't it? Doing a little climbing right here. Still got at least 10 miles to go. You know, you'd think with the proximity to Northern Virginia and the absolute wealth that you see around here, that people would want these roads paved, but it's just the opposite. There is a statistic about how many dirt roads total miles of dirt roads that they have in Loudoun County. There's actually a preservation organization dedicated to keeping these roads from being paved, which I think is the absolute coolest thing in the world. Oh, 
we are all done. This was an amazing ride. It just, it, it was just beautiful beyond description and so well organized and so well uh, marked and all the rest stops were incredible with good help and good food and, uh, and bike shops that were there to tweak your bike if it was needed. And this is a ride that if you want to ride gravel or thinking about riding gravel or already love riding gravel, this is a place that you want to come. And let's hope they keep these roads gravel forever. Take care.